Hello, my name is Tiffany C. Wright and I'm the Resourceful CEO. And today I'm here to talk to you about loans. Again, the EIDL and the PPP. Things have changed since the last time I had a conversation with you. Or you may not have seen that video. <laughs> so I wanted to give you an update. Also, I realized after being on the podcast uh, a couple days ago, actually last week, that a lot of people still have questions about the PPP and, and so on. I was on this podcast and we were supposed to be talking about business restructuring, but we spent most of the time talking about funding. And I understand that not, not that many of us are funding experts. And so when you get someone on like me who can talk to a different, to a variety of funding um, options that you want to take advantage of it. So anyways, I thought that more of you may be interested in the topic and so uh, I'm making this video. So first up, the PPP and the EIDL. Uh, or actually, that's first and second up. So the PPP is the Paycheck Protection Program. If you received the PPP loan in 2020, that is now called the first draw. So if you already applied and you received the funds, then you're you may be eligible for the second draw. And if you are, please, please, please apply for it. You are eligible if you have under 300 employees, which I think most of you watching this <laughs> fall into that category. And if you had a drop of rev, a drop in revenue, not a drop of revenue, <laughs> a drop in revenue from 2019 to 2020 of 25%, that could either be for the year or it could be for a quarter. So if, for instance, your second quarter of 2020 just kind of crashed, but then you recovered and did very well later in the year, you're still eligible because you had a second quarter where you did under, where your revenues year over year from 2019 were 25% lower. So please apply. It's still the same loan terms as the, the previous PPP. You have 10 months before you have to begin to, um, is it, yeah, 10 months deferment before you either, uh, before you repay. But first, let me say this. They're saying 10 months on the deferment. I, I got a PPP. It's, it's um, not the deferment, but before you have to repay, um, you don't have to repay it, obviously, if you use it to pay yourself and your personnel. And they were saying that, um, the, you know, everything would be ready to file your forgiveness application, but the forgiveness application from my bank just was made available online, uh, at the end of March. So let me see, I got the funds in, when did I get those funds? The PPP funds, I think in early May. So it was actually, maybe that was just a little bit over 10 months. So anyways, don't, my point is don't panic. Um, you want, if you have not received anything from your bank from the time that you, you know, apply for the PPP and received it from the time that you actually got the funds and you're coming up in your 10 months, don't worry about it. Your bank is still the S you know, the SBA and banks are still working out how to do the application process. Um, the forgiveness application process. I think for the second draw, it will be much easier because, you know, they will have ironed it out for this, for the first draw. So anyways, apply. It's uh, two and a half times the monthly payroll, whatever that is. If you are a sole proprietor, independent contractor, um, or self-employed and you file a Schedule C, on your personal tax return, then it's going to be two and a half times what you put on your, um, so it's going to be what's on your schedule C divided by 12 times two and a half times. If you actually do do, um, 
do give yourself a, a monthly distribution or you pay yourself via W-2 or use a paycheck payroll service, then it will go according to that. Let's see what else. So again, if you file, if you, if you submit it for the, the first draw, please, and you qualify, please, please, please submit for the second draw, apply for the second draw. It's, you have, you now have until May 31st, they have extended it once again, you have until May 31st to apply. The official shutdown period is June 30th is, is the last day that the SBA will approve PPP loans, but you must have your application in and stamped as of May 31st. That's a electronic stamp because all of this is electronic. <laughs> May 31st, or if you, if you submit it June 1st, too bad, it will be rejected. If you did not apply for the first draw for the first PPP loan last year, do it now. You still can't apply for the first one. You just won't be eligible for the second one. You can only, you'll just go for the first one. But yes, if you haven't, if you've never applied, please do so. Please do so. And it's the, it's you, you had a business that generated re revenue in 2019. And it's, it's based upon, you know, what happened at the beginning of 2020. So if you had any kind of drop and you had, uh, because of COVID, like when it first shut down, then that's all that they're, they're concerned about. So, but you had to have generated revenues in 2019. So if you started your company in 2000, in December of 2019, this is a question that I had someone ask me, but you did not generate any, any revenue to speak of and you therefore did not pay yourself, then you are not an applicant. You're not a candidate for a first draw application. So let me see. I know I'm, I'm kind of beating a dead horse. I'm just trying to think of the questions that all the questions that I get asked on podcasts and in meetings or in presentations and so on. Let's see, the EIDL, the Economic Injury Disaster Loan that's specifically for COVID. Folks, please take advantage of this. If you have not, then please do so immediately. It is a loan uh, that's 30 years, 3.75%. Oh, I forgot to tell you the, the PPP, it's obviously, well, my entire loan will be forgiven, but if it wasn't, it would only been 1% uh, interest rate, which, you know, that's awesome. <laughs> But, but yes, it, it will be entirely forgiven. The EIDL, not forgiven. No, 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 it's not forgiven. It is, um, it is to help you continue to operate your business. So it's, um, and it's understanding that your business is going through a, a trying period. So it's providing, um, Three point seven, an interest rate of three point seven five percent, payable over thirty years. I'm not saying to take the the entire thirty years because then that's like a mortgage, but you have thirty years to pay it back, and you have a um, you have a deferred period of uh, what is it? I believe that's also. I don't want to get this wrong, but there's a deferral period that is, um, I think it's a year, but yeah, up to, up to a year, but you can start paying it back whenever you want. So, um, if I'm incorrect, then just read the notes below and I'll correct myself when I, um, when this video is edited or when <laughs> in the notes, in the notes below. Okay. Let's see, um, and previously the EIDL was for, um, was based on six months of, of income and, um, yes, so it's based on six year, six months of income, but now it's based on four, on 24 months of income. So for those of you who actually did get the, re did receive the EIDL, 
that you'll get if you haven't already i already received mine from the sba you will receive an email asking you to um, just submit some information in order to be considered for the um, for an additional three times your income so basically three times the loan amount you had already received so if you had already received fifty thousand dollars you would now you're now eligible to receive another hundred fifty thousand for a total of two hundred thousand so um, that's the maximum you don't have to take it you don't have to take the maximum but again it's now uh, 24 months of your business income uh, that they will lend you and under $25,000 there is no collateral at all required under 200,000 there's no personal guarantee over 25,000 they will place a uh, lien a, um, against your assets um, a basic UCC so it's basically like if you have a line of credit it's the same thing they do they place a lien against your um, against your a, a general lien against your assets and I think I think that's it a one am I missing something on the PPP I feel like I'm I'm forgetting to provide you some additional information on the PPP. Um, anyways, I'll just look below and I'll I'll specify the actual terms of the PPP. And um, if you have any questions, then please just comment below and I'll respond or shoot me an email through the resourcefulceo.com. And if you want to schedule a consultation with me to help you restructure your business or obtain funding, then you can schedule it at the resourcefulceo.com slash forward slash schedule. Okay, that's a slash, not L-S-L-A-S-H. It's the resourcefulceo.com forward slash schedule. Remember to please subscribe. Thank you. Mm -hmm.